Hey, how's it going? I'm Ira Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so I am filming this on Boxing Day, the 26th of December. Um, so this is going to be my roundup of December because this is going to be coming out on New Year's Day, which I didn't realise 100% until I double-checked this morning for the dates, and I was like, well, nah, okay, makes the most sense just to sort of to, to do it now, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> It uh, means I've done an entire year of doing a roundup every single month, which I don't know if I will keep doing it. Um, we, we shall see what how things go in 2021. Uh, but right now it's a case of, yeah, it's, uh, it is what it is. Um, so December has been a very interesting month. Um, I mean, obviously big thing to note is that I did not manage to release, uh, did not manage to release the third book this year. As I said before, it's already on my end, um, but my cover guy's had a lot going on, um, and, you know, I respect him too much to, uh, to put any extra pressure on him, so fingers crossed, end of January, that should be, <laughs> that should, that should be out by the end of January, um, Obviously, we'll see how things go from here, but yeah, fingers crossed. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. Um, I started off the month thinking that I wouldn't be seeing anybody over the Christmas, um, and part way through the month, I was going to be seeing my dad on Christmas Eve, and then lockdown restrictions came in a bit stricter again, and uh. Yeah, that didn't end up happening, unfortunately. Um, technically speaking, I'm not bubbled with either of my parents um, for various different reasons. Um, so I wasn't in a situation where it could have just happened anyway, because they are technically already bubbled with some of my old relatives who do need to take the priority because they are also on their own this time of year. Um, you know, I'm, I'm fine, I'm, I'm young, I can recover, and uh, most of the day was spent with lots of what, what's that calls from various family members, so it was different. Um, I cooked my first proper roast, <laughs> so um, usually when I do myself a roast, I think I've mentioned this in a recent one, um, but usually when I do a roast, I just get like a grilled steak burger type thing, have some roast potatoes, maybe some some option puddings if I remember the option puddings, um, probably peas and sweet corn for the veg, um, and some gravy, and I'll call that a roast, even though it's like very, very basic, <laughs> probably barely qualifies as a roast, um, but uh, for my Christmas Day roast, which was yesterday, um, I had this turkey joint. I still have most of the turkey joint left because it was one which would serve four. So I've got at least three more meals left where I can have some turkey. <laughs> so I didn't have any uh, yesterday evening because I ended up getting a takeaway for Christmas Eve for my meal in the evening on Christmas Eve to replace uh, the meal I would have had with my, my dad and stepmom. Um, and I had some of that left over because I, I ended up ordering a lot more than I normally would. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't finish it all. So, uh, for my dinner yesterday, I had, um, a few bits and pieces that were left over from that. Um, just as, as just on its own. And it really, it really wasn't a whole lot, but I was still feeling quite full from the roast dinner. So. <laughs> We really didn't need to be a whole lot at that point, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, I, I had the, a turkey that I cooked up, and it was actually really nice, easy cook as well, and it turned out quite nice. I mean, the, the skin wasn't as crispy as I like it, because I, I am I'm, I'm a sucker for like really crispy like skin, whether it's uh, turkey skin or chicken skin. It's like I, I like it when it's like really crispy, and I didn't quite manage that. Um, but, you know, the, the meat was, you know, as good as it should be, <laughs> I guess. 
I'm not I'm not one of those who's like particularly well versed in like how meat should be because like half of the meat that I eat is just processed. <laughs> I'm such an unhealthy eater. Um, but as well as that, I also got myself, and most of the stuff I got was frozen stuff. And the reason for that is because it is just me on my own and getting everything fresh um, puts you in a situation where it's harder to store it. Uh, not everything defrosts particularly well from like fresh to frozen to fresh. Um, it was just, it made a lot more sense just to buy it already frozen and then you can cook it straight from frozen it's just it's so much easier um so I, I had some stuffing balls which were from frozen um some pinks and blanket and i've still got some of those left so probably over the next few meal times i mean I've, I've even managed to work out that i can postpone doing my weekly shop today which is when i would have done it um which is kind of good because seeing spoons isn't open anyway <laughs> At least not the one closest to me that I usually use. And I've like double checked and according to everything that I can figure out online, it's not actually open today, which is uh, just a little bit annoying. But at the same time, I, I've got food, so I'm not too worried about it. I think the only thing that I'm kind of disappointed is I wanted to pick up myself up some more mulled wine. Um, non-alcoholic mulled wine because that was actually really tasty. Um, I had that like Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day. I had four glasses in total, one of the glasses being bigger than the rest of the glasses and that's the one I had on my Christmas Day meal. Um, but yeah, uh, that that was, that. I've, I've got enough food to sort of get me through till Tuesday which is, so I've got tomorrow off and I don't really want to be doing it tomorrow because again, a lot of this like I can't bother. Like that's that's what it is. I I figured out that I can go till Tuesday without having to do a food shop. The only thing that I'm getting quite low on is bread, and I figured out that I've got enough bread to get me through till Tuesday, so I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, this this is supposed to be a month roundup, and I'm just sort of more like going over like. The practicalities of December and and working things out but now I've got I've got enough food I can make some interesting meals with the remainder of frozen stuff um, probably going to have another roast this evening uh, with some of the turkey and some of the trimmings probably not as much as I had um, for lunch yesterday probably like half the amount of potatoes half the amount of stuffing half the amount of um, because I did, I did overindulge a little bit, um, but yeah, so that was kind of my Christmas and my, my sort of December, um, very much kind of flip-flopping all over the place because of the world situation at the moment. Um, it was a little bit disappointing not to be able to go out to my dad's, but at the same time, it meant that I could get on with Christmas Day at the pace that I wanted to get on with it um, and not having to worry about, you know, rushing to get home. Um, not that I'd have been rushing to get home. I already would have been dropped home at like nine o'clock, uh, between nine and ten. So it wouldn't have been like a rush rush so much as um, that's one of those kind of situations where it was just, I don't know. I don't know. It would have been nice to have actually done the Christmas Eve plans and slept over and then dropped back on Christmas Day but as it was it meant I could get on with things at my own pace it meant like getting up at like 5am in the morning which is the time I just get up these days <laughs> didn't bother anybody but me um and I could just get on and and relax and you know get everything get through everything at the sort of the pace that I wanted to get through everything at which was it was nice and as I said I had lots of WhatsApp calls so I wasn't lonely um yeah yeah it was very very interesting in in terms of, of all that side of things uh of, 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 uh, this year so yeah it's uh it is what it is and I've gone through it and I have today and tomorrow and then I'm back to work on Monday and then I have a couple of days off and then I'm working the new year. <laughs> um, but again that doesn't really bother me, it's not like I'm going to be able to go anywhere and celebrate anything with anybody 
anyway so I will probably do my usual because I usually work New Year's Day anyway <laughs> that's the thing like the last like I usually end up working more of the bank holidays um because we're allowed like a two of the four bank holidays off so either Christmas Eve uh Boxing Day New Year's Eve New Year's Day two of the four of those off um you're supposed to like have the ones that are grouped together but like some years I've like asked for like uh it to be a bit mixed up other years I've kind of gone like can I work all four of them so I can have these days off instead and I've been allowed to have that um and that's just been because of like when my brother was in down and stuff like that so it's it was really weird this is the first year I've not worked Christmas Eve <laughs> in the in the um I think it's my 11th Christmas working for the company that I work for and this is the first time that I have not worked Christmas Eve um, which was really strange and I mean Christmas Eve is a bit of a was a bit of a weird one anyway um, it's always really nice there's always a really nice atmosphere but it, some years it's been really busy and some years it's been really dead and I finished early like but I think the last few years it's been almost completely dead and I finished early and I've been able to sort of travel up by bus to get to my mum's um, earlier than planned and you know it's been it's been really nice um so this is the first year I've not worked Christmas Eve so that's a bit weird um I I quite often as I said I quite often work like for most of those bank holidays anyway so the last few years I've worked New Year's Day um that's because of when my brother's been down there's no, been no point in me having uh, New Year's Day off, uh, quite often work New Year's Eve, so yeah, working those two again this year isn't, uh, doesn't gonna bother me at all, it's not, it's neither here nor there, and um, like I said, it's not like I'm gonna be able to do anything, so I <laughs> won't worry too much about it, <laughs> as it were. Um, so yeah, uh, as, as, this is going about as well as all of my monthly roundups seem to go, um, there is one other thing that I do want to mention as part of my roundup for December. Um, so as I mentioned, as part of my roundup of November, I have made a new friend who, like me, is also in the asexual bracket, um, as in demi, pan, um, th those kind of things. Um, we have decided to step things up a notch um so i am in my first relationship with another asexual <laughs> which yeah it, it seems to be going pretty well so far uh we sort of decided towards the beginning of uh december to sort of feel things out a little bit um and see how things go from there it's still fairly early on i'm still pretty positive about how things are going at the moment but you know it's <laughs> yeah so amid all of the other chaos and ups and downs of december there has definitely been one very positive thing so yeah okay uh, this one's all nicely wrapped up. <laughs> Alright, okay, uh, so with that said, um, I hope you guys have found this one sort of interesting. I know I've sort of rambled quite a bit, um, mostly about my like, Christmas um, itself. Um, as I said, my my, round, my monthly roundups tend to get very fixated on various things anyway, so it's not really that much different compared to all the things that I have and I usually do when I do my monthly roundups. Um, I hope you all have a good new year. I mean, obviously this is coming out on New Year's Day, so if you have been able to celebrate in any way shape or form even if it's just staying up till midnight with your family to have a glass of wine or whatever it is you drink um i hope you had a good one i hope you're having a good new year's day um 
if I realised my last one was going to come out on Christmas Day, I'd have done something like this. Um, but I, I'm really bad at working out <laughs> and looking at calendars, apparently. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I hope you all have a really great New Year, New Year's Day. Um, I hope that 2021 is going to be more positive overall than 2020 was and I am phrasing it like that because yes 2020 has not been the best year um but it's not been a completely negative year either there have been lots of things that have happened both you know on a wider scale and on personal scales for people which means that you know this month I mean, this month this year as bad as it has been in a lot of places it's not been a terrible year and you know I think we should all go into 2021 with a more positive outlook and fingers crossed things will start being more positive in general um so yeah uh, with that said hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever I'm talking about next time in my first proper vlog of 2021 <laughs> <laughs> this is technically being filmed at the end of 2020 <laughs> and I will see you next time see ya <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video feel free to check out some of my others and if you like what you see please like and subscribe see ya